Good morning, football. Welcome to Cowboys defensive lineman David Irving. Yeah, hey, hey, what's up? Hey. Yeah. Happy holidays. What's David, up? What's up? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? We'll Good. talk plenty of football here in just a second. Where do you stand on eggnog? Are you in? I know Are you that. out? Ooh, I'm out. Yeah. I gotta get out. I gotta get out of there. <laughs> all right, that's all I want to know. Come on, man. Somebody else. Somebody else got a question. I'm good. All right, right out the gate. Hey, let's talk about this year for you guys. It's been fantastic. The mindset right now that you guys are the best team in the league. Is it still game by game? Are you guys still saying, okay, we got to go one game at a time? Or are you thinking, you know what? We got a chance to get some jewelry. And it's about the Super Bowl or bust for it. <laughs> uh, you know, we're still looking at it one game at a time, you know. Uh, you know, we're focusing on Detroit right now. Uh, we're going to be game planning them, uh, living in this week. Uh, see what we got to do to, to defeat them and get past them. But, I mean, ultimately, I, I, I think about the Super Bowl, you know. I think about it all, so... Uh, we take it day by day, week by week, uh, but I've been thinking on my own. <laughs> okay, now you, you said taking it week by week. Let's go back a couple weeks. You guys suffered the loss to the Giants, and, and the big question was, what's mm -hmm. going on? It's two losses. Uh, can the Cowboys bounce back? And then not only did you guys bounce back, but you registered two sacks. How did you guys respond? Because you guys have a, a blend of veteran players, but also a lot of young guys. What was the conversation like in order to bounce back after a divisional rivalry? Uh, pretty much, let's just get back to work. Uh, you know, we don't have time to think about what we did. We know we lost. Um, let's get back out there. Uh, we honest every week we train and practice as if we lost every game. Uh, so just getting back to the basics, getting better uh, at what we do and just putting it on the field each week and see what we got. David, I'm watching this game Sunday night and I'm saying to everyone, who is this David Irving? Two sacks flying around the field. And I think the feeling around <laughs> the, the country is maybe Who's this Cowboys defense? Because we've heard a lot about the offense, and Dak and Zeke and Dez mm -hmm. get a lot of love. But you guys are fourth in the league in points allowed, and 67-year-old Vietnam veteran Rod Marinelli has you guys playing good football. <laughs> What's going on with that defensive unit? And should we be talking about you guys a little bit more? Uh, I mean, you know, as a defense, uh, especially the D-line, there's been questions. Uh, you know, last week we had a couple key players out who contribute uh, in the run and pass game. So... Honestly, we were trying to find uh, the right spots for everyone. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, I started off at nose, played a little three technique, uh, played some defensive end. Um, you know, it's all for us, we're focusing on the pass rush and rushing, uh, you know, with four equals one in that mentality. Uh, you know, we all have to rush with certain lanes. We can't just give up two consecutive gaps in the rush. Uh, you know, it's just things like that that bring it all together. You know, us getting a little bit better makes it easier for the linebackers in the secondary. And um, we'll continue to improve this week. David, it's the holiday season, season of celebrating. We all saw what Ezekiel Elliott did last week with the Salvation Army kettle. <laughs> Let me paint you a scenario, my friend. You were at home this weekend again right, against let's Detroit. Let's mm -hmm. say you come off the edge, you strip stack Matt Stafford, you pick up the ball, scoop and score. Are you headed for the kettle? <sighs> Oh, I mean, he did not get fined, so <laughs> I might head for the kid. <laughs> yeah, that'll be pretty cool. He didn't get fined for it. I mean, hey, why not, you know? Salvation Army, it's a charity thing. You know, I'm with it. I'm with it. All right, now let's talk about Ezekiel Elliott and Dak Prescott on the other side of the ball. Offensively, these guys are having big years. Some are saying Zeke. He's had an MVP-type season, but also Dak Prescott has mm -hmm. been in that conversation. So I'm about to put the pressure all the way on you right now. If you had to pick uh, one oh. for it, yeah, uh, oh, it's right. <laughs> Tune in. Come on. Lean back forward to the camera. Talk to me, big dog. Talk to me. Who would you pick out of Dak and Zeke? Man, that's a tough it's one. It's a tough man. one. I know. We asked the tough questions around here. I'm sorry, Good morning, baby. football. Can I, can, I get, hey, uh, can, can I give it to the O-line? Oh, you know, I like that answer. Now, now, now I, I've said that all along. They, they are the unspoken heroes. But tell me about that, because you get to see them up close and personal. Tell me about that offensive line. Man, they're, uh, they're beasts, man. I mean, you know, I came from the Kansas City Chiefs, and, you know, I went against their old line. I played in a, a lot of games here in my uh, past season and a half, I guess, or two seasons. And, I mean, you go against some good players, but none quite like our old line. Those, those guys are physical, man. Uh, they're, they're strong. Uh, they have good feet. I mean, they're just everything you want from an O-line. They work as a unit real good. They will shove you out on the double teams. I mean, uh, what can I say? They're, they're a great line. I feel like they're the best line in the, in the NFL. Mm. That's strong.
We made our holiday uh, wish list and gifts to some teams trying to make it into the playoffs. You guys are there. I want to know. I know if I ask you what you want for Christmas, you'll tell me a Super Bowl win <laughs> or a win this week. We'll take it <laughs> off the field. Nothing to do with football. What's right. on your wish list? Hmm. What is Mr. No, honestly, Irving? Honestly, I've been looking. I've been I've been looking into. Um, I've been looking into. Uh, I guess it's some. Some Hummer, I guess. Oh, okay. That's a big gift. It's coming out. Ooh. Some new Hummer. Yeah, it's a big gift. Uh, you know, I had a Ford Raptor. Uh, I go off-roading quite a bit. Huh. Uh, well, I used to. Uh, so, I don't know. I'm looking at a Hummer or a Jeep, maybe. Uh, I hear those new Raptors are coming out, so I got to look at those, too. You, but you can get those all in a Hot Wheel uh, like five pack. Oh, yeah. That's, I know that. that's the kind of gifts I get. <laughs> David, yeah, know, that's cool too. Mm -hmm. Hot Wheels, real cars, whatever. You're a six foot seven dude. I, I, I got to ask you, did you play mm -hmm. high school ball? And what are you like on the hard court? Oh, uh, actually, I did. I did high school basketball and track. Uh, on the court, let's say, um, all right, I'll be honest with you. I was the guy they fouled at the end of the game. Oh, okay, free throws. Oh, okay. You're DeAndre uh, Jordan. However, yeah, Howard. Howard. Yeah. However, I mean, I mean, I have a 40-inch vert right now at 285. I was Whoa. 190 in high school. Running 40 around. inches at six seven. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and I, uh, I mean, I'll drive on you, dunk on you, uh, play oh, yeah. really good defense, lock down anybody. So you I just couldn't shoot. You ran yeah. track. <laughs> Everything else was there. So you ran mm -hmm. track, which means did you do high jump, jump in a 40 inch? Uh, I did a uh, high jump, triple jump, long jump, shot, and disc. I, I held the triple jump record for my school at like 47 feet. That was uh, my third track meet, and then yeah, I broke my kettle. leg after that. You have stopped. to jump in the kettle. Enough <laughs> yeah. of this. Yeah, you can do it from the end zone. I don't care if, you, if it's an assisted tackle and you guys are down 30 points. I want Just you in jump the kettle. In it. In the kettle. Just jump in it. All right, I'm going to get in the kettle. I'm going right, to get in the kettle. Talking, right? Hopefully it's not off an assisted tackle, but I'm going to get in there. You take yeah, it. I love it. Hey, well, listen, man, we appreciate you joining us. We know it's early, uh, but listen, you're, you're carving out a hell of a career for yourself so far, so keep balling, stay healthy, and keep yes, doing sir. your thing. Congrats, and of course, yes, Merry Christmas Thank to you. David and everyone there in Dallas.